I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Cancer, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got judgment and it's with the Ace of Cups. So, judgment is the card above the word pass, which can be a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and of course, judgments that are made too hastily. So, if you're prone to doing such things, it's actually a signal or a sign to slow down. Slow down, give things more thought, give people more chances. This can be a time of spiritual awakening also. Now, it's with the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is actually a very powerful, positive card in the tarot when it comes to love, happiness, and affection. Like all the Aces, it's about new beginnings. And although it usually means love, it can actually indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. So, things are looking up and people will respond to you with happiness, love, and goodwill more than usually. So, you should be feeling good about life. And it's also a great time to make friends when you get the Ace of Cups in a reading. So, Cancer, what this is telling me for the recent past energy between you and your person is that the two of you, you got a fresh new start, or this was a new relationship, a new connection, or the connection underwent a new beginning, and it felt great. Um, you could have felt really loved by this person and they felt the same way about you. And something happened though because I'm getting for a lot of you cancers, you started to become very judgmental about the person, about the connection, or something they said or did. And you had a hard time forgiving. Whatever happened, it caused you to jump to conclusions and make decisions really fast. So, whatever happened, whatever caused you to start to be this way, um, it caused a make or break in the connection. Yeah. That's the recent past energy between you and your person. But let's move on over. And let's see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got Page of Cups, and it's with the Two of Swords. Now the Page of Cups is the card above the word present, which shows a need to play, dream, have a little fun when you get this card. In a reading, it can sometimes mean that you've been taking yourself way too seriously. There was a poet or a writer that once said, The one important thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking oneself seriously. Well, the first is imperative and the second can be a disaster. You have to know the difference. Now, this page of cups is with the two of swords. The card that's below the word present. This, this card actually tells us that your partnerships, they could be going somewhat well. Whether it's friendship, romantic, or business. But you should consider the depths of your commitment to equality 
in the connection and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you're not, it could be time to bring things back into balance. But this will definitely require open communication. Yeah, just know nothing will change. Nothing changes without effort. So, coming up, Cancer, what this is telling me, what well, the Page of Cups can be about... Um, I'm getting that there's some communication coming in. You could be ready to communicate, or your person could be ready to talk. Page of Cups is a, it's like an open invitation. Um, communication is what you get with the Page of Cups. Some messages coming in. Um, your person could be sorry. And they want to make up when you get the Page of Cups. That's the card above the word present. But it's with the Two of Swords. So I'm getting for a lot of you Cancers, you're not, you're not feeling it. You're not ready to make up. Because um, the Two of Swords will block. The Two of Swords will block you. And the Two of Swords will avoid, block and avoid. Um, the Two of Swords can indicate that you were ignoring some warning signs, but you're no longer ignoring the warning signs, and you have taken off that blindfold. You see everything for what it is, and... Yeah, you're avoiding and blocking this person. That's what I'm strongly getting. But coming up, they could be reaching out to you um, with an open-hearted type of energy. It could be for intimacy. This Page of Cups, you see how they're halfway naked. They're hanging out at the park. They're turning up the bottle. Uh, for some of you, Gemini's, you're dealing with your same sign. Your person could be a Cancer or Scorpio or a Pisces, but they're ready to communicate. So be prepared if you're not with this person. There could be some type of message coming in. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Okay, so we got Empress and it's with the King of Swords. Now, the Empress... Um, is the card above the word challenge. The Empress is the type of person that doesn't play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things, her own idea of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now, keep in mind, this doesn't mean she'll always get her way, but she is actually a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. It can signify coming abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially, because there's many types of wealth, there's many types of riches in life, and money is actually only one of them. But the Empress can actually have it all. The Empress can encompass any or all of them. Now. It's with this King of Swords, the card that's below the word challenge. The King of Swords can stand for a very powerful, opinionated, forceful person in your life. This person um, could have hair on the darker end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. When you get the King of Swords, you could be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally, especially when this card is not representing a person in your life. So you might have to consider the feelings of others before you act. King of Swords, it does point to a very forceful type of energy. You may not be able to get this man or person in your life to change his mind or to do what you want. 
So it's possible that you you may need to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, or expectations, but don't overextend your reach. So the challenge, Cancer, um, there's a lot of attraction in this connection. They could be extremely drawn or attracted to you, or you could be feeling this way about them, or the both of you have great attraction for each other. But you could be realizing, or you already know that you're dealing with someone that is like this King of Swords. King of Swords is the type that will overstep their bounds. King of Swords can be very forceful, overly opinionated. Um, they will, um, King of Swords will actually mistreat you. Yeah, you could be dealing with someone who is um, stereotypically manly. Like I said, overstep their bounds. Um, they could be the type that use their head over their heart. Um, they could be the time that's they could be the type that's um, detached in some kind of way. But the thing is that there's a lot of attraction here. A lot of attraction, and for uh, some of you, cancers, you 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 got deep love for this person. The Empress can be about deep love. They could have deep love for you too. But it's the King of Swords, so I'm thinking it's you. You've had deep, deep love for this person. But they don't always treat you right. The King of Swords is mean, a very mean person. And the King of Swords has a sword in his hand. This person doesn't really need the sword because the King of Swords will actually cut you with their words. But that's what's coming up. That's the challenge, actually. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the outcome is. Okay, so we got this Knight of Pentacles and it's with the Queen of Cups. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is the card above the word outcome. It points to messages, often could be money, finance related, it could be, it could be family or romance. So you could be finally receiving some news that you've been waiting on and the news is good news when you get the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight is actually a very practical type of energy. It tells us to pay attention to the mundane, normal parts of your life. Yeah, there was a poet or a writer that once said, if you take care of the little things, the big things will fall into place. Well, the Knight of Pentacles, it asks you to look at how you're handling your business handling your affairs, and it's a very groundling influence. Knight of Pentacles, like I said, it's, a, it's actually a really, really good energy in the tarot. It's slow, it's steady, it's stable, civilized. A willingness to work, to get through rough spots and to work on the relationship that's the knight of pentacles now that's with the queen of cups of the card that's below the word outcome the queen of cups is a very positive outlook very positive it indicates um there is a woman, or could be a person, who's very helpful to you. The queen reminds us to bring love, compassion to our work, and to our world. And this is possible even if we work 
in a factory with objects all day rather than people so things are probably better in your working world or your life when you get this card in a reading than you're realizing so think positive now the outcome knight of pentacles clarified by this queen of cups so what what this is telling me cancer is that um your person they could be reaching out to you like i said the knight of pentacles is about messages and it's a very practical type of energy so i'm getting that um because it's with the queen of cups your person wants to heal this connection with you because the queen of cups is all about healing and being supportive and nurturing so they want to heal whatever's wrong they don't like the fact that you're avoiding them they don't like that you're blocking them they don't like that you have a hard time forgiving whatever they did wrong or whatever they did that cause you to be this way so they're reaching out to you they they could be coming across as trying to be different because the knight of pentacles is nothing like the king of swords so you see them as the king of swords but when they come towards you this time they, they could be coming across as different or trying to be different trying to be more practical and stable and trying to let you know that they want something more steady stable civilized committed yeah so that's the way they 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 should be approaching you or that's the way they will be approaching you it is different more civilized nothing you see them nothing like the king of swords they want you to believe that they've changed whether they have or not that would be remain to be seen but they want to heal this they want to fix whatever's wrong they've got deep love for you 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 still have feelings for this person with the empress here they are very attracted and drawn to you so that's the reading that I have for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks there's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those so cancer thank you so much for watching i hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this virus season it looks like we're trying to pull through this so continue to stay strong and take good care i hope you guys come back and join me for the next cancer reading just in case this one did not resonate, maybe the next one will. Also, keep in mind, the roles of the people can be switched. They can be reversed, meaning you could be them. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, just know that the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings, they are not personal readings. So Cancer, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.